all right so you've learned how to download your tools you've done hello world and you're pretty excited i'm very sure of that and beyond the first day beyond the first excitement of writing your first line of code and see it run there are many days ahead remember you have 99 days ahead of you now to complete this challenge that you set for yourself and one of the things that you probably be wondering is why is this happening in this code why do i have this line of code one thing you can do is the programming language you choose uh c sharp java javascript python try as much as possible to go through and read the documentation for whatever you're working on at that particular point in time say for example you're learning about data types and you're following maybe a video or a book or a learning path you would have to go to maybe python uh, data types read about it understand why each variable is doing what it does and why it's happening so so the documentation of the program language you're writing will be very essential for you and i won't don't want to bore you with so many program languages here uh, there's a lot of resources online to to know what program language you can choose depending on what you want to do and of course i've made some videos in the past concerning that you can check some of the cards above uh, that i'll be showing so you can get along with some of those videos now on your first day you've learned say for example c sharp and you documented it and you realize hey i'm documenting this and i'm writing some markdown what is Markdown? What is this .md file? What is this .cs file? Let me tell you a little bit about Markdown. Markdown is one of the you know, file formats that we use for documentation. And generally, programmers and people who write a lot of documentation that are technical. So it's pretty much generally. I wouldn't call it a programming language. Of course, it's actually not a programming language. It's just a markup language that helps us write things better. So you would see over here on my screen. I have the original readme.md file that I created uh, for the first video and I have references to this. You can go ahead and read the markdown cheat sheets. I, there's a link somewhere here uh, for you to see that. So one thing you can do, so if you go into GitHub, let me actually open up GitHub somewhere here. Let me open up GitHub. Yeah, I have so many things happening right there. So if I open up GitHub and I go into my repositories, the one for 100 days of code. You would see that by default, it shows me the items that I listed in my readme.md file the reason it's doing that is that by default github understand that if you have a if you have a readme.md file in a folder that is documentation file for it so uh if you wanted to do something like this if you wanted to so say for example by default show the documentation for day one i would have to rename this to readme.md such that github can just pick it up and use it so what i'll do i'll go back into my file here and edit this just rename it right click here and click on rename and i'll change it to readme.md i'll commit that to my repository so that's git add dot git commit i'll call that readme update and then i'll push that now you might be wondering i'm typing all these commands i'm typing all this stuff where am i getting this from now as you start to program and you start collaborating with people maybe even you want to store your source code somewhere for example github you would use git quite a lot because git is one of the most popular source control systems on the planet today and you can read more about git if you go over to git dash scm.com so git source control management.com that's where you're able to download git for your system and there's a book here that you can download 
or you can click on read online for free if you want to you have to download the latest version for your operating system that could be on a mac or on, on a linux machine right so clicking on the git book i could download the pdf file and you can just spend some minutes reading up on what git really does because it's one of the things you'll be using quite a lot in your programming career so it will be good practice to understand what git is and everything about it your commands how to push how to merge how to do branches now i'm throwing a lot of words around here but don't be dismayed it's one of the things you get used to okay so that is that about git you can read more about it in a book of course and of course you have to download it for your system so you can push your code and pull it down as you want to now i pushed code up here earlier on and you, i told you that i could read up on this if i click the one here i wouldn't find that link anymore because i have deleted the file it's trying to reference so what i would do is i'll go back and if i were to click on the day one folder i will see the documentation for day one by default because i've renamed my file to readme.md so i could do all the same for each of the days as i go on such that i can just see the documentation up front without having to click and say go here do stuff so i'll have to rename this over here to readme dot md day two also read me dot md same thing for day three read me dot md now of course there's no day two and day three content here because of course i'm not really learning how to code right now uh so but so you could learn git commands and the next stage you probably be after learning hello world and writing your first line of code you learn about variables you would learn about strong typing, uh, var keywords, and then how to do basic arithmetic and conditional operations in your program language of choice because that is some of the building blocks of programming. And the first few lessons you would have, if you pretty much understand them very well, and you decide later on in your career to pick up another programming language, it will be easy for you because the fundamentals of all programming languages are basically the same. It's just the syntax that differs just like uh hello and bonjour they mean the same thing but in different languages all right so that's it for this video if you like it give it a thumbs up subscribe and tell your friends all about it i'll see you in another video guys goodbye